This is Roy Candy, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different tastes in gaming talking about their favorite game in the category of the week. This week we're talking all about upcoming games. What's a game that's coming out that you are super excited about? Make sure to leave in the comments down below, and let's get to all of the contributors' clips. Hello, Twice is Nice Dice here, and the category for this week is games that we are excited about for 2022. My game is Wayfarers of the South Tigris by Shem Phillips. Mine is Birdsong. And mine, I have a couple. I'm excited about Burn Cycle coming out. I'm excited about Dice Realms that perhaps will be coming out. And Terracotta Army. Bye! Bye. Hello everybody, True here. Talking to you about upcoming games of 2022. I love uh, space games, like Race for the Galaxy, I also like uh, Tiny Epic of uh, Galaxies, Battlestar Galacta is one of my favorites as well. I play Zaya a lot, it's one of the best games ever. Huge fan of Eclipse, and of course my favorite Twilight Imperium. But I really, really so excited about this game coming up right now. This year, uh, I really don't fund many games, but this game I backed, and I am really looking forward to this game this year. This is ISS Vanguard, and I know Roy, you're into this game as well. And uh, I'll be at Dice Tower East this year, so hopefully I can get a game in with you. Maybe we'll get to do some more space gaming. Well, anyway, guys, that's my game. See you soon. See you next week. Thanks. A game that I'm excited for in 2022. Hmm. Uh, it's going to be a tough one because I really don't know. The closest thing I could say is Marvel United X-Men. I really do like Marvel United, so that's like the closest thing. Maybe Four Souls, but then I want the toys in it. So I don't know. You guys let me know because I don't know for 2022. Well, till next time, guys. Hey, everybody. My pick this week is a game called Astia. And it's a theme that I normally wouldn't really gravitate to. It's about like uh, like building up a port or whatever in Italy. Um, but it's by the designer of two of my favorite games from this past year, like two quirky games, Aqua Garden and It's 5 p.m. So I'm definitely looking forward to what this designer brings to us next. My pick this week is Car Crush because... Hold on, I'll see who that is. Oh, I got some good news, Grayson. Oh, that's a package. I wonder what it is. Uh, oh, it already came. It's Cora Quest. <laughs> All right. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. Bye. This is Ron Talks Tabletop, and the game I'm looking most forward to in 2022 is Call to Adventure Epic Origins. Or maybe it's Marvel Champions Sinister Motive. Or maybe it's all that Marvel United X-Men. Either way it goes, a lot of awesome stuff coming out this year. Happy Friday, everybody. This week we're talking about games that we're really excited to be released this year, 2022. Well, I'm very excited about a game called Distilled. This is a kickstart I backed back in 2021, and it's not being released until the end of this year, but that hasn't stopped me being excited about it. I was an early backer on the Kickstarter, and as the money rolled in, the game got bigger and bigger and bigger, until now it's 700 different components. It's a game all about distilling your favourite spirit, which is a theme I perhaps know a little bit too much about. <laughs> it does look like a great game. We're both really looking forward to that one. This is a tricky question for me. There's just so many games that I'm really excited for. The Ever Rain, Flamecraft... Endless Winter, there's just so many of just so many different types, but I am going with Divinus. Um, this one is done by the people that made Destinies, which we've just been playing recently um, and really enjoying. And I feel like the themes that I love in terms of Norse gods, Greek gods, like it's a legacy option within that, although you can still play it as a game afterwards. What's great about this is it still has the app that works so well in Destinies, but unlike that game, it's got a theme that I think is a little bit more engaging. So I'm really looking forward to Divinus in 2022. Hey everyone, my name is Nick. I'm the host of Grey Primer, a show that's mostly about miniatures. The game I'm most excited about in 2022 is of course full of miniatures, and it is a zombicide game, Marvel Zombies. Hi guys, it's Favorite Game Friday, and this week we're looking at games that we're most excited to play in this new year. And for me, we got Pandemic Legacy 
for Christmas, and I can't wait to get into it. I got tapestry, arts and architecture. We've spoiler alert, we've already played this, and it's really good. I got Sherlock, and we played it once when we were on a field trip. And, and I, I am most excited to play Terraforming Mars with our brand new table mat. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. I don't specifically have a game that I'm looking forward to, but I am looking forward to expansions. Let's go. Tassi Masi has an expansion coming out anytime now, I'm sure. Dice Masters is getting a Galactus expansion that should have solo play and cooperative in it. Cartographers has four new promo cards in the Dice Tower Kickstarter. Four promo cards? That's a lot like an expansion. Viscounts of the West Kingdom has two expansions coming up. I think they're on Kickstarter now-ish. Gates of Gold is the one I'm most excited about. Let's see here. Architects. Architects has Works of Wonder. That's going to be a great expansion. Looking forward to that. Canvas. Canvas Reflections. Hopefully it'll have more better rules for solo play. That'd be great. Marvel United has about a dozen X-Men related expansions coming out very soon-ish. And of course, Dune Imperium Rise of X, anytime now. I'm very excited about that one. Expansions, man, that was a lot. I don't know how many that was. Asalaamu Alaikum. For me, the most anticipated game of 2022 should have been Last Light, uh, which is Roy Kennedy's game, uh, but because it's a 4X game, which you get to play in about an hour. Uh, and that fascinates me because I want to play more 4X games, but they're always so sprawling. So if you can combine them, uh, but the sad thing is that I don't really think that it will come out in 2022. So instead, I'm going to change my most anticipated game to Divinus. Now, Lucky Dead Games has been on a roll with their app integrated game. Now, this one I'm more interested than any other games because it is a narrative driven uh, legacy game. Uh, so that interests me and you can infinitely replay it once you are done with the base game as well which is of course an always plus. So my favorite or most anticipated game of 2022, Divinus. Happy gaming. Hi, it's Barb, Meeple PhD. And my most anticipated game right now is Ark Nova. I love animal and zoo themed games. And in this one, you're building up a zoo right in front of you. But it also has the addition of a conservation focus, which is something that modern zoos are doing today as well, and I love that this game is bringing both of those things together. I also think the mechanisms look really cool. Um, that 200-ish card deck with all unique cards, I can hardly wait to see that. And it doesn't help that a certain someone at the Dice Tower has rated this a 10 out of 10. Mm, I cannot wait. Hello, Prodi here, your Romanian content creator. Uh, and today's topic is a game that I'm looking forward to in 2022. I must say I'm not that much a cult of the future person, but there is a game in 2022 which sparked my interest and I'm really curious how it uh, is and how it works and if it is a really good game. And this is because I'm a big Witcher fan. So I'm really waiting or looking forward to see how the Witcher Old World is as a game. So I would say this is my pick for today. Have a nice Friday. Hey, favorite game Friday. What game am I super hyped about coming up in the new year? I'm super excited about Hour of Need by the Sadler Brothers. It's a cooperative superhero game that was supposed to come out last year, but of course the shipping crisis has made it worse. Super looking forward to Hour of Need, a cooperative superhero game. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, do you hear that? the sound of fresh snow blanketing the northern coast. It's not? There's a delivery person in front of my house right now. With Frosthaven! Ugh! 
it's always awesome to look forward to games that are coming out and it's exciting to see the new board games that are on the horizon and things that you are interested in getting for your collection. Make sure to leave in the comments down below your favorite upcoming game and make sure to check out our contributors from all around the internet. We have tons of amazing contributors who join on Favorite Game Friday and we'd love for you to be a part and join the community here on Favorite Game Friday and send in a video too. All you have to do is just send a super short video, put it in the Google Drive link down below. This week we're going to be talking all about underwater or nautical themed games. Ships and things like that works, just large masses of water. So we're going to have like an aquatic theme. So it'd be awesome for you to put your favorite game in the drive down below and you can be a part of Favorite Game Friday. Well, thanks so much for joining us here and I'll see you on the next one.